Jamie Johnson. Welcome to Froggy Tales. I work for the Environmental Compliance Office as an environmental sampler. Just to give you a little feel of what my job entails, I spend most of my day protecting the environment from pollution, protecting our rivers, our creeks, and our streams. Also, I monitor the industries that's here in Athens, Georgia. How do I do that? Let me show you. I use this device to collect water at the industries, and I use this machine right here to check the water at the streams and the lakes to make sure that they're healthy. Today, I'm joined by my good friend, Lily, and we will be sharing this book with you called Water. But don't hop away. After the story, we will see water defy gravity. Stay tuned. Thank you for that great intro. Before we start our story, it's time for a quick froggy rhyme. Remember what I need you to do. Put your arm like this and get your finger ready. I'm going to trade my finger out for a friend. Now take your finger and say this along with me. The tiny frogs are hopping. Shh, shh, shh. The tiny frogs are hopping. Shh, shh, shh. They do not make a sound as they hop across the ground. The tiny frogs are hopping. Shh, shh, shh. And now take your hands and put them in your lap. Today I will be reading Water, written by Israel Pheasantswap and illustrated by David Halopnik. Water. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Water. I'm very important for your life. Do you know why? Let's start with our planet. It's called Earth, but almost all of it is covered with water. And it was in the water that life began around here. Did you know that most of your body is made of water? And that before you were born, you spent a long time in the water inside your mother's belly? In nature, you can find me in three different states. Liquid, solid, and gas. Everybody uses me all the time for all sorts of things. For instance, for drinking and eating, for cleaning and hygiene, for fun. for decoration, for manufacturing, and preserving food. And for generating electricity, and even for traveling along. You see them traveling along in the canoe. In nature, I spend my time going up and down. This is called the water cycle. It works like this. The sun heats, warms the ocean, rivers, and lake, so I can turn into steam and rise up, forming clouds. When the clouds get too full, I fall back down as rain, snow, or hail. And then the cycle starts all over again. Most of the world, water is salty. It fills the seas and oceans. The fresh water we drink and use comes from rivers, lakes, glaciers, the poles, and from under the ground. But be careful. Fresh water is very scarce, and we must not waste it. 
So make sure your mother doesn't stay singing in the shower for hours and that your father fixes the leak in the sink. Tell your brother and friends not to keep splashing people. Your neighbor not to wash the pavement every day. And the cook not to let the tap water run. You can't drink me unless I'm clean. Be careful. Dirty water can make you very sick. Unfortunately, salt and fresh water are getting polluted by garbage and by the chemicals that people throw into the ocean, rivers, and lakes. Can you imagine the earth without water or life? I freeze just thinking about it. Do you see now how important I am for everybody's life? So please, don't dirty me, don't waste me. That way, everyone will live happily. Thank you. The end. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the book. Can you believe how important water is? Remember I said stay tuned. I think I promised you guys a trick. Here we go. For this trick, you're gonna need some yarn, a measuring cup, a smaller cup, some water, and some water coloring. I chose blue because blue is my favorite color. Let's see what happens. Wow, look at that. Amazing. Water is defined gravity. Thank you. See you soon.